Hey guys, it's Lemon here, and welcome back to another Wild Horse Island painting video. So today, I'm going to be painting a Spring Arabian onto a model horse, and I'm super excited to do this. The model horse will be based off of my horse, Rosette, as you can see here. So there is a bunch of pretty flower details, which I will be adding. And yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on into the video. I cannot wait for you guys to see this, as I think that it turned out pretty good. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, we are back, and then this is the horse model I'm going to be using. Um, it says it's an Arabian, although the face looks a little funky, but it's, it's fine. It's, it's gonna be great. And then it is already white, but we're just going to do another white base coat just to make sure that everything is good. And then I have to go over like the mane and the hooves, of course, as well, because I believe that the Spring Arabian's hooves are originally green. So let's go ahead and get painting our base coat. And so here is me painting the base coat of my horse. It actually took um, like 15 minutes for me to just do the base coat. I don't know why this horse model took so long. I don't know if it was because of like the position or whatever, but it took me like a long time to do this whole base coat. But I think that it turned out pretty good. I did the coat even though it was already white, like just in case I make a mistake, then I could paint over it white um, so that uh, the coat color would still match. Uh, definitely a good move going with an already white horse because I don't think that I would have been able to get a solid good coat if I had selected a horse that was a different color to begin with since of course the Spring Arabian's coat is mainly white with a few flower details on it. Um, but here it is, all base coated. Next I mixed some green and yellow to get the two shades of green that I would need to do the leaf details on this horse. I went ahead and began doing the detail work and I was actually quite scared to do the details for the Spring Arabian since the details were basically the main part of it uh, with the little stems and leaves and flowers. It's all very detailed and you really have to get it like just right in order for it to look good. I was actually really unhappy with how this side was turning out so far. I'm not the best uh, painter with detail work and things like that. So I decided to take a break from the one side and begin attempting to do the leaves and stems on the other side to see if I could uh, do a better job and then I would go ahead and fix up whatever mess I left on the other side. After finishing up with the lighter green, I went ahead and went in with my darker green color that I had mixed up, and I think that this side was looking pretty good. I was definitely much happier um, with how it was turning out compared to the other end. I hadn't fully finished adding in the rest of the leaves, so I went ahead and added the other parts that I had not quite added in yet and as you can see this is how it's turning out i was really really happy with how this part was looking um i think it looked pretty good and then i went ahead and went on with a second layer of the darker green since it was not completely full so i just did a second coat and then with the other side, I removed what I had done and just painted it over in white because I just was not happy with it. So we're redoing that side. But before we do that, I decided I wanted to paint the hooves next. So I took that green color that I was using and I painted each of the hooves like this. I think that they turned out pretty well. I was very happy with the hooves. Next, I went ahead and painted the cute little yellow flower. I went back and I began painting one of the vines. Um, I thought that this one was looking pretty good. I was happy with all the shapes of the leaves as well as the location um, of it and there's just me painting it. I did make a few um, edits with the white paint but overall it turned out pretty good. Before doing the next set of leaves, I figured I would do the yellow flowers so that I could get all the placements correct um, just in case I messed up again. I started doing the next set of leaves, but I wasn't really happy with how it was looking um, down towards the bottom end, so I took it off and painted over it again with white paint. And then I went ahead to do the blue flowers. The first one was over here. I apologize, my camera was a bit out of focus when doing this one. And then I also did this one over there. Next, I began painting this set of vines and leaves over here, um, and I was very nervous because I did not want to mess up this side again, so I was very careful. 
and then I went ahead in and did the leaves and I actually think it turned out pretty good um it was definitely better than <laughs> what it was before so I was pretty happy with it and then I also went over and did the other leaf vine thing um on this side over here and i was pretty happy with it i'm happy that i uh redid it instead of just keeping the old one next i went ahead in and i did a second coat to the darker green um leaf colors here because it was looking a little light and then i also did a second coat on the hooves Next, it was time to finish up the flowers, so I went ahead and painted the little blue flower, and then once I finished up that, I painted the yellowish orange flower, as you can see here, which I then dotted with some red in the center. I'm sorry for how out of focus this next part is, but I decided to do the little pink flower here next, um, as you can see me doing that. I did mess up a little bit, so I went in with some white and just made some touches to try and get the shape correct. Next, I did this other cute little flower, and then once I finished that, I went ahead and flipped over to the other side and began painting the butterfly. Now, this part was a little tricky, but overall, I think I got the general shape of the butterfly wings um, right here. And then once I finished that, I mixed up a little kind of brownish, pinkish, reddish color, I guess, and I put that through the center. Also, I'm so sorry that my camera kept going out of focus, but I did the little lighter pink color that was coming out of the one flower, as you can see here. Then I dotted the center of the pink flower, as well as did some lighter pink dots on the butterfly wings, although you can't see it that much. It's just a minor little detail that I wanted to add in. And then I went ahead and added a dot for the center of the rest of all of the other flowers. Alright, so next I went ahead and started painting the mane. Now, I chose a hot pink color because this Spring Arabian um, is being based off of my Spring Arabian rosette, as you can see here, and she has hot pink mane, so we're making this model have hot pink mane. Next, the Spring Arabian actually does have a bit of a pale pink color um, around its mouth, so I'm just adding this very light pink color, um, as you can see here. Next, I did another coat of hot pink onto the mane and tail. To add the finishing touch, I went ahead and painted the eyes in black. Here are the results of my finished Spring Arabian. I think overall it turned out really well, although the model is a little weird, I do still think that it looks pretty good and resembles the horse in Wild Horse Islands. I'm very happy with how all of the details turned out, but that mane is definitely very hot pink. Um, but I like it, you know, it looks like rosette and I think that it looks pretty good. And I'm happy to add this one to my collection of painted model horses.